Yo, Slump Music here again with test three of the Reason plug-in VST. This is a test. This test, I wanted to, um, I wanted to run it like really hard just to see exactly what is what. Now, the last video that I did, um, I was showing you guys how to stack. So that's what I did here. And except in this template right here, I'm actually running eight tracks of Reason Rack. And all these tracks got instruments in them, you know what I'm saying? So um, I was just tweaking some sounds and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you guys exactly what it, what it looks like. Um, on my first track, I loaded up, of course, you know, everybody know the mixer. I got my bass. Got a subtractor and I put a sweeper and I'm, I put my compressor. And like I was telling you guys how you guys can stack these sounds to get your own sound. So when you see in the mixer right here. Now what I did is I made my own sound, you know what I'm saying? I got my bass right there, I added some other sounds on there, I put a sweeper on there, and I added, I just added some compression. Um, I was thinking about adding, you know, some type of uh, whatever EQ or whatever else through the scenes. Um, I didn't put any combinator or anything in there. So that's what I did with my first instrument right there. On my second instrument, See if I can bring it up. The second instrument, I loaded in two different drums. So pretty much like um, when I hit the drum, and this this right here is two drums just layered on top of each other. I used the uh, a con kit and then I put a general MA I mean eight oh eight. You see how everything like layer it layers up, you know what I'm saying? So you'll be able to um you can you can change all that stuff around. Alright, and now on on track three Uh, this one right here, I put the redrum right here. I mean, I didn't, I didn't add anything extra to it or or anything like that. I just threw it in there, and um, I might have used a, a kit or two or something in that right there. On uh, the next one, I let's see, this is the next one right here. All right, the next one I did the same thing. I, I, I loaded two of those right there. So I have two redrums on there on, on separate tracks. I probably just used a, a snare on one track and used a, you know, a hi-hat or something on, an, on the other track. So then on track five, All right, track five. I have some keys right here with with uh, with some chords. Um, everything is definitely working. Um, thanks for um, the information um, about letting me know that I have to um, arm these here tracks right here to actually hear the sound. Like I was telling you guys, I'm not really an Ableton user. I'm just I'm using this program right here because it's the software that's available for this unit right now so this is what I'm using and um, the next track I used I used two two internal um, two internal sounds from Ableton so I just I just threw two of those in there um, I believe one of them was just a just like a just a kit and then my last track I used um, another reason rack I got 
um, some key, some more keys in there with cores, and except this time I put a, you know, like a phaser on it, and um, I'm just gonna play it back so you guys can um, can see how stable it is. Um, what is it gonna do when when with all this stuff right here inside of the rack, and everything is playing? So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna mute my mic. And I'm just gonna play the audio so you guys can get the full sound. If you guys have a have this hooked up to your stereo or something, I want you to hear the exact thing that I'm hearing. So if you hear any crackling or anything like that, you'll be able to post back like, okay, I, I hear it lagging or it's running really smooth. Me myself, I'm really kind of like excited because this this plugin right here is actually running really smooth. I mean, for all the stuff, I'm running eight tracks in there, and for all the, you know, the plugins and stuff that I have on every single Reason rack, um, it's not glitching. I didn't hear any glitching um, at all, first of all, but, I mean, I just want to just... I'm, I'm gonna keep pushing this here note until the actual release comes out because then it's gonna show um, what is what is this this unit really gonna push because I seen somebody else that posted up that their computer was running hot after they did a they did a beat with reason so I'm just gonna show you guys before I push play or anything that what the what the data is looking like and I haven't I'm not hitting any keys or anything. So as you see right there with um, with eight tracks in there and I'm only I mean like I said I'm running two tracks that's in internal sounds and I got six six tracks of the rack in there and with some effects and some other tracks layered on top of tracks you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna go ahead and just get on down to it I'm gonna mute my mic right now and then um, I'm going to play the audio for you guys so you guys can hear it the exact same way how I hear it. So that's what it sounds like right there. Um, I might have heard some little glitch one time, but I don't think it was nothing really serious. I think it was more like um, a human error of anything. Um, it could be me just touching something like I was grabbing this mic or whatever. Um, my opinion, I think it's actually running really good. Um, I'm going to show you. When you look at this here, I, I want to show this here um, MIDI data again, because the highest that I see it jumping to is at um, 
27. I'm gonna um I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the play button again and I'm gonna let you guys see where that MIDI data is at with all this here playing now. So, with all that playing right there, um, the highest I seen that right there getting was at 34. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't jump any higher than that right there with all this right here playing. Um, it that's extremely lower than what it was um, on a couple tests that I did before, like when I before. Uh, you guys start seeing my videos um it, it was really like really crashing and it was getting up really high like up to 65 so it's at 34 right there but we're gonna um i'm still gonna keep an eye on that right there even when the update drops because i want to i want to really still do the um do the comparisons of that right there you know how much how much data is it, is it sucking right now um, running as a beta, I mean, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna do some stuff like that, but how smoother is it gonna run and, and when, when, when it's re released, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to see if it's gonna go lower than that 34 while I'm playing all these instruments or, you know, it's, it's just sitting there now and it's, um, the highest I said is, is at least 27, you know what I'm saying? And. I'm not hitting any key. I mean, I, I kind of um, am concerned about that. I mean, I done been through a lot of Macs, and I don't plan on going through another one behind behind a plug-in behind if, if it crashes. So what I'm doing is I'm not running really too much in it to to make it my Mac crash. I'm just uh, loading stuff in there. If I hear it start glitching and stuttering and stuff like that, then I know that it's, okay, it's glitching and stuttering. I don't need to push it to the max to see when is it going to really crash. Um, I just want to know how smooth is it going to be. I mean, like I I, I stated earlier, like um, the smoother that this beta runs, the greater the release is going to be. So uh, I'm just watching it and, and playing with it and, and checking the updates and just doing other things just to see um because i like to run instruments really hard and i'm pretty sure other producers do too i mean no producer takes it easy on their on their beats you know what i'm saying they're gonna go all the way in on them so i mean that's how i look at a plug-in i mean if you're gonna if i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it and abuse it and i'm gonna put it to the test to see if it can handle what i can do you know what i'm saying but um this is just a this is the third test that I did and, and, and I did run eight tracks on it. I ran at least six six racks and I ran two tracks that was internal. Um it's still running smooth. I mean it, I didn't hear any glitching like it was the other day when I did the eight tracks like that. And I didn't the other day when I loaded it up like this here, I, I, I it was already glitching at three tracks and I didn't even record into the sequences. I was just hitting the keys by itself and it was glitching so you see the difference um, in the improvement. So, I mean, and there is an improvement. It's ru it is running smooth. I'm just looking at that date and kind of concerned because I think it could be lower. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So, this is Slump Music. This is the third test for the Reason 11 plug-in VST. And see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.